Hi guys, Ed, Eric Sargent, Ed Martin Toyota, and I want to show you a special edition uh, 200 series Land Cruiser. Let's come check it out. All right, so we actually haven't done any kind of um, at, um, any suspension work at all in the car. Uh, it's got the stock spring, stock suspension system, but there's a lot of electrical upgrades and some stuff that is new to us that we haven't done before. So, I'm gonna start by uh, showing you the compressor. We have an ARB twin air compressor <coughs> mounted on a sleeve uh, twin air compressor tray right here. Um, we have um, a, a dual battery setup. So we've got a SLE um, Group 35 uh, dual battery or a dual battery tray with an Odyssey Extreme Group 35 battery. Um, that's being connected to the crank battery with the Red Arc uh, DC DC. It's the, uh, the BC DC 1240D. <clears throat> and we have that mounted right here with a custom mount right next to that, next to the battery. Um, as you can see, the fuses are here. Um, the, um, they're connected, um, everything's uh, switched with an ARB link system, which we'll get into in just a few minutes. Um, underneath the hood, we have uh, a new feature that we kind of added to the portfolio recently, and this is the, um, the, hood, the hood light. And so there's a little switch that's mounted uh, right here. And so up is the white lights, middle is off, down is red lights. And then they are, of course, um, uh, triggered right here with a pin switch. So once you shut the hood, if you accidentally left the lights on, then the lights are going to shut off. Shut that off. So again, the compressor switch with an ARB link. We'll show that in just a second. There is uh, some rock lights that are installed. So when the doors are open, uh, when the doors are open, uh, the lights will turn on. When the doors are shut or the car is locked, they'll shut off. Um, on the inside, um, we got a something that looks like a phone that's connected to the sunglasses holder, um, and that's actually the ARB link system. An accessory mode here <clears throat> so this is connected with a magnet so you can if you were uh, using the say you were you bought the accessory to pump up the car or bump up the, the tires um, you can do it you can bring this around there with you and adjust the PSI accordingly um, so again just clips up there with a magnet we custom made a mount a little bracket here out of PVC file down the plastic that's on here and then put a PVC thing behind it and then uh, integrate the magnet so that's secured secured properly um, this is basically the arb links if you haven't seen it before it's basically just an android phone um, some kind of a inexpensive android phone that arb designed and then they have the the holder in the back of it that clips to the magnet right there i'll go ahead and plug it back in here there we go and then this has the um, so the um, this has an inclinator. Uh, it has GPS. It has altitude. Um, you, of course, it switches your uh, compressor, your lights, and various other things that are on the that are on the vehicle. So, and it's all touchscreen. I'm not too experienced with it yet, but this is our first one. And, it, and uh, there we go. There's your inclinator. Uh, uh, front lights, back lights, rock lights, those are all uh, wired for future accessories. So we've got them triggered into the reverse lights, into the, into the, into the ARB link system, and they're pre-wired with the Deutsch connector up front and then um, and secured uh, down uh, in the front of the grill. You can shut that and you can see it looks perfectly stock, clean OEM look. Down here, down here we have a USB port and an HDMI um, uh, to control um, additional accessories that you may want to use in the future uh, for the aftermarket uh, Alpine 10-inch uh, DVD player that we have mounted up here in the headliner right there and then we'll, we'll play with that here in just a few minutes um, so what we have connected to that um, usually usually uh, aftermarket DVD players are uh, connected or uh, the audio is, is assembled with a uh, with an uh, FM modulator which usually is not the best quality of sound so we've wired in uh, a 3.5 millimeter uh, auxiliary cable here, uh, stereo, um, that's actually ran up to the DVD player. And then that can be plugged in uh, directly to the 3.5 millimeter uh, auxiliary jack right there. And now you have the DVD uh, sound quality is connected uh, straight through in stereo. And that's kind of tucked in right here. Uh, we did hardwire in an Apple TV um, and an HDMI switcher, which is mounted underneath of the passenger seat. The HDMI switcher um, is, is switched with this wireless remote. Um, and then inside here, um, underneath of the HDMI and the USB port, it's kind of hard to see probably from the video, but there is a little tiny hole that's drilled there, and that's the IR sensor. 
uh, for the actual remote control. So you can switch between sources if you want to use the HDMI source that's here or the HDMI that's um, the Apple TV or um, the pre-wired HDMI that's behind the unit for the Grom uh, connect, uh, accessory that's not, um, that's not quite available yet, but we know it's coming. Um, and then of course there's a remote control for the Alpine DVD player and then of course the Bluetooth um, Apple TV remote to control that from the back. Another HDMI and USB port right here. And then a couple more 4.4 uh, amp USBs right there as well. And then as you can see here's the DVD player. And it's got the Apple TV source on, on right now. And then I'll show you a couple things in the back real quick too. It's got to have it so it it's smart enough to know that it doesn't have enough voltage so the compressor will not turn on with low voltage so if the vehicle's not running it's not gonna let it turn on um, so now if we want to <clears throat> decrease so now it'll actually it'll go back down to 10 um, or all the way down to 5 mm -hmm. uh, you can go up to 90 psi um, five is the lowest. Five is the lowest. Yeah. Yep. So and it, and you can. So what I've done. Um, so I've done a minimum of five psi and a max of ninety. So you mm -hmm. can only go. Um, and you can. Uh, so if you have an uneven load on the trailer, you can actually put more pressure in one side than the other. Gotcha. So it's a split split system. Little over here we'll get that cleaned up. But the um, inside the bottle jack holder, uh, we've got another uh, fuse box here, and then uh, the wiring is uh, again pre wired for the reverse lights, mm -hmm. and so that's going to be controlled um, with the links. Great. And then I'll show you one more little pre wire up here in the front, too. Uh, behind the grill, you may see that little gray connector right there. That's uh, the Twitch connector, so that when you install your light bar, it's already pre wired to the links. If you guys have any questions, give me a call, Eric Sargent, Ed Martin Toyota, Noblesville, Indiana.